Selling liquor is a thriving business at Inanda. The township boasts 500 taverns, most of them illegal. One of them just opposite Inanda police station, but SEPS claims it's closed in 2018. Releasing crime statistics recently, Police Minister Peggy Kele said most crimes here were linked to alcohol. There are many drug dens in the area. There is a gang that's using Wunga near the police station, but no one is taking action against them. Vacant senior management post and a staff shortage at the police station are cited as the cause of the rising crime. They, they, they take the retirement, others they took the early retirement, but they never replaced uh, uh, up to now. And secondly, others uh, have constantly uh, passed, passed on, they never replaced. We are very short staff in, in, in this uh, police station or, or, or in London. We've been engaging the government with the issue of uh, downscaling the number of police officers at head office uh, so that they will come and beef up uh, at the station level. But uh, other than doing that, they introduce another level, which is uh, the district uh, uh, model. Um, and that model is taking members from the station, which they don't have. Declaring Inanda a priority police station and other crime prevention interventions are yet to yield positive results. The candidate shortlisted for the interview had already been informed. However, due to COVID-19, a process was delayed as one of the candidates who tested positive for COVID-19. Inanda is not the only Durban township leading with crime. Umlazi, south of Deben, is among the top five areas in the country when it comes to murders and sexual offenses. Vusi Kumalo, SAPC News, Deben.